For more free African history resources, please go directly to our website or click the links below. Africans in the Quran, Part 1 The Quran is the holy book or the central scripture of the religion of Islam and its adherents called Muslims. Muslims are people who adhere to Islam, a monotheistic religion belonging to the Abrahamic tradition. They consider the Quran, the foundational religious text of Islam, to be the verbatim word of the God of Abraham, or Allah, as it was revealed to Muhammad, the main Islamic prophet. The Quran lays down for them the law and commandments, codes for their social and moral behavior, and contains a comprehensive religious philosophy. According to the traditional Muslim belief and Islamic scholarly accounts, the revelation of the Quran began in 610 AD, when the angel Gabriel, believed to have been sent by God, appeared to the prophet Muhammad in Arabia. Thereafter, he received revelations over a period of 23 years. The Quran is also known as the Last Testament and makes reference to several prophets also mentioned in the Torah and the Bible, including, but not limited to, Adam, Jesus, Noah, Moses, Jonah, Lut, Elijah, Isaac, Abraham, Enoch, Zechariah, Solomon, and King David. Also, angels are mentioned such as Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Malak al-Mut, or Azrael, the angel of death. The word Quran appears about 70 times in the Quran itself, assuming various meanings. The Quran describes itself as the discernment, Al-Furqan, the mother book, Um al kitab the guide, Huda, the wisdom, Hikmah, the remembrance, Dikr, and the revelation, Tanzil, something sent out, signifying the descent of an object from a higher place to lower place. Muslims believe the Quran to be God's final revelation to humanity and a work of divine guidance. A surah is the equivalent of chapter in the Quran. There are 114 surahs in the Quran, each divided into ayats or verses. The chapters or surahs are of unique length. The shortest surah, al kothar has about three verses, while the longest, Al-Baqarah, contains 286 verses. Now, within the Quran, Africans are mentioned throughout it. To the east of the continent of Africa, the region of Arabia is located where the religion of Islam began. The 31st chapter or surah of the Quran is called Luqman. Luqman, also known as Luqman the Wise, was an African sage from the region of modern-day Sudan. There are many stories about Luqman in Persian, Arabic, and Turkish literature. According to the 12th ayah, or verse, of Surah Luqman in the Quran, Luqman was bestowed with wisdom by God, Al-Hakim, the Most Wise. This chapter mentions the following. We gave wisdom to Luqman and said, Be grateful to God, and whoever is grateful is in fact grateful for his own benefit. And whoever is ungrateful, then God is free of all needs, worthy of all praise. The 27th chapter in Surah of the Quran is called an Namal, which means the ant. Within this chapter, the Queen of Sheba is mentioned. The Queen of Sheba was an African queen who ruled over the region of modern-day Ethiopia and southern Arabia, modern-day Yemen. The Queen of Sheba is also known as Makeda and Bilkis. She is also referenced as the Queen of the South. She is also mentioned in the Bible and the Kebra Nagast. The Kebra Nagast is a historical record of some of the early history and royal lineage of Ethiopia. Surah An Nabal mentions the following. It was not long before the bird came and said, I have found out something you do not know. I have just come to you from Sheba with sure news. Indeed, I have found a woman ruling over them who has been given everything she needs and who has a magnificent throne. As we will see, more Africans are mentioned within the Quran 